Tag TV and Tag Radio be seen and heard by both technology users and technology producers throughout the state of Georgia and around the world. Low cost, big benefits, powerhouse online branded video and audio has arrived. Tag TV, Tag Radio, there's a lot more to know. This edition of Tech Talk is brought to you by Globalspeak.com. New media consultants, corporate video and audio communications, video and audio production and distribution, live and virtual event production. Tag TV and Tag Radio is a service of Globalspeak.com, creatively delivering powerful marketing, video, and audio solutions. A lifelong commitment to a single purpose, improving the lives of women and girls. A recipient of the TurkNet Leadership Character Award, named to the Atlanta Business Chronicles Top 40 Under 40, named Outstanding Young Alumni by Georgia Tech, an inductee of the Georgia Tech College of Engineering Council of Outstanding Young Engineers. Her story is profiled in the book, Change Your Career, Transforming to the Nonprofit Sector. Leadership roles with Atlanta Women's Alliance, Distinguished Young Women of America, and the Junior Leagues of North Fulton and Gwinnett. Her accolades and achievements seem endless and are often highlighted with past board president, past state chairman, trustee, chair, director. Under her leadership, women in technology, WIT, more than triple their fundraising goals. And WIT's foundation, Girls Get It program, was awarded last year's Spirit of Endeavor Leadership in Technology Education Award. Greetings, everyone. It's Tuesday, July 26, 2011, and this is one in a month-long series of special Spirit of Endeavor Tech Talk focuses with Technology Association of Georgia President Tino Mantella. The 2011 Spirit of Endeavor Awards are fast approaching. Nominations are being accepted for six categories of excellence. Now, through October 14th, we encourage you to nominate your company or other Georgia companies for the awards recognition gala event to be held December 9th. The Spirit of Endeavor month-long Tech Talk Focus recognizes the 2010 winners who share their experience and ideas and actions that led to their prestigious award recognition. Today, Tino speaks with the Executive Director for Women in Technology to share WIT's leadership and involvement in providing tech education and the importance of winning a Spirit of Endeavor Award, both personally and professionally. Up to the Tech Talk and the Spirit of Excellence, Award-winning executive, Heather Rocker. Heather, thank you for joining me at Tech Talk today. Thanks for having me. Well, we're partners in crime for years and years, and part of your time, part of my time, 1998. Uh, WIT was one of three organizations that uh, came together in their wisdom to form TAG. So we'll always be grateful for that. I'll certainly be grateful for that. And uh and you're the first executive of Women in Technology, so talk a little bit about how that's been and, and uh, what kind of accomplishments you can point to and, and anything uh, you want to mention in terms of the future for WIT. Sure. I had the privilege of serving as the first ever executive director for WIT, and through that role I'm responsible for uh, the fun, raising the funds that we have for our programs, uh, recruiting and managing uh, corporate partners, and also running our strategic volunteer program. We currently have 200-plus volunteers that help us do everything that we do, and of course uh, have some flagship programs that folks have probably heard of, such as WIT Forums and WIT Connect and our Woman of the Year Awards, which we have just launched nominations, and one of our outstanding achievements in 2010 was having over 52 women who were selected as honorees as Woman of the Year. Well, let's give that one more plug. So if they, if anyone listening in wants to uh, submit someone they know or submit themselves, how would they go about doing that for Women Ab- of the Year? Absolutely. We we encourage the more nominations, the better, because part of our mission is to recognize and reward women for their outstanding accomplishments in the field of technology. So we encourage everybody to go to www.mywit.org, and they can find the Woman of the Year um, application online there. Thanks. That's great, and it's a great program, as was WIT Connect and the many other programs you guys do uh, for women, and, and men can come, too, I know, to a number of your events, so it's, it's great. If you haven't been to Wood event, you need to go out and uh, and be part of it. It's a great organization. And Heather, you guys, uh, in recognition of that, I think good segue, you were the winner of last year's uh, Spirit of Endeavor Award. So tell us uh, how that all came about and 
what you uh, what you thought of that award in respect to uh, uh, WIT and the WIT Foundation, I guess it would be, right? Absolutely. So through our WIT Foundation, our flagship program for um, getting girls interested in STEM and nurturing the next generation of women in technology, we have a program called Girls Get IT or Girls Get It. And we've really been working on that program over the past five years and have delineated kind of what we consider a three-part system to get girls really interested in STEM and had the opportunity to submit the details about our program for the Spirit of Endeavor Award uh, for Leadership and Technology Education. And, of course, that our leadership and technology is focused on the student technology education side. And uh, due to our efforts, we were uh, had the distinct pleasure of being the winners for 2010. And uh, it was some stiff competition there, so but well deserved. And what have you been able to utilize that? One of the things I want to do for those listening in who uh, may not know about the Spirit of Endeavor Awards, it's a, it's a great uh, program. It's a legacy program of the old AEA, and uh, when AEA uh, formed uh, forged with ITA to become Tech America, TAG actually became the franchisee for um, the new organization, Tech America, for the state of Georgia, and. Uh, one of the things that we were able to do was uh, sustain, and then over time we plan to grow the uh, Spirit of Endeavor program, which happens in the fall. Um, and uh, so, what is what did that program mean to you, you personally, and also to uh, to Wit Wit Foundation? Right. Well, I think the coolest thing is we can now say our award-winning Wit yeah. Girls Get IT <laughs> program, which it was just very fun to update all of our marketing materials for t for 2011 to be able to say that. But I think there's a lot of uh, validity when an organization such as Tech America and TAG look at uh, the programs that are happening and, and give it the distinct honor of winning the award. It really took it from here's something we're doing that we think works to – people really see the validity in what we're doing and know that it's a uh, you know a, a program that we consider world class here in, in our Georgia technology community and I also think it's a nod to the idea that our program is very collaborative so we we work with the corporate community the nonprofit and educational communities and that that really that idea that it takes a technology village to to really tackle some of the issues that are coming up with getting enough students interested in STEM to even fill the jobs that are on the horizon well, you and I both know there's there's a shortage today, and uh, there's projections that it'll be a significant shortage in uh, STEM, science, technology, engineering, and math moving forward. And I guess particularly with girls, are you seeing any kind of a change, uh, cultural change, uh, in respect to the programs that uh, that you're bringing forth, uh, Girls Get IT, I guess specifically, and uh, are you making some progress uh, in that in that score in in respect again to uh, getting these young people to look at uh, STEM maybe as a career? I think what's really, really um, in, enlightening to me is the idea that girls may not understand what the career opportunities are, but we're seeing more and more demand to attend our programs. And so our programs are free of charge to the students, and we went from three or four years ago hosting a job shadow program for 10 students to this year um, we had to turn students away because we were at capacity and had a wait list. So even even if they aren't sure what the opportunities are and exactly what technology careers look like, there's definitely an increased interest in learning about it. And I, one of the most fabulous things when we do these programs is seeing more and more of the aha light bulb moments when they realize um, it's not uh, the preconceived notion they had in their head, and we've yet to have a program that at least half of the participants didn't say, as a result of what we've learned, I now want to seriously c consider an education in STEM. So, you know, just it, taking it step by step, um, one girl at a time, but we're definitely seeing girls who have gone through Girls Get IT who are now studying science, technology, engineering, and math at the college level. Well, that's great. I, I think our listeners uh, certainly understand how you guys won the award uh, this past year. And uh, I guess final question in terms of WIT moving forward, any uh, anything on the horizon that you can announce? What's what's next for WIT? I know you have the Women of the Year, as you said. Our Women of the Year in Technology Awards is coming up, and we're actually just piloted a new program through the WIT Foundation. So part of what we've done through Girls Get IT was really attack the issue at the middle school and high school level. But the collegiate level has always been an, a need as well. So we have just launched our WIT on Campus initiative so that we can bridge the gap, uh, that transition point between high school and college, and then also college to the professional fields so that we can not only get girls interested in STEM but keep them there and help them translate into a successful career. 
Well, that's fantastic, Heather. Thank you for uh, joining me on Tech Talk, and congratulations on the award-winning Girls Get IT, and uh, all the best uh, continuing to grow that program in the future. Thank you so much. I appreciate you having me today.